Lori here again on Vancouver Island. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for coming back. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. When I last checked, I was up to 71 subscribers. So, woohoo, we're getting there. We're going to be almost to 100 in no time. I'm going to keep begging until I make it there. So, um, if you haven't already, share, share, share. Tell your friends to subscribe. Um, I mean, I do care if they watch or not, but, you know, they, they don't have to. <laughs> if they think I'm horrible or something, they can just subscribe and not get notifications. But I'd love it if they, if more people interacted, but I totally get it that, uh, um, it's not, it's not easy when you're just watching on your smart TV, right? And I know a lot of people do that. Uh, like I do. So, look at what I have here. I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas, and I'm a little freaked out because it is the largest canvas that I have worked on. I have done my 12 inch records, so uh, there is that. I have done those. Um... But yeah, so I actually had some littler 10 by 10 canvases, but when I opened them, they were all saggy and loose. So I have sprayed them with water and I'm letting them dry, but I still wanted to pour some paint. So here, here I am. <laughs> And uh, when I opened this, I was thinking I'd probably have to do the same with these, but this one's actually not, not bad. It was, it was fairly steady. So I've taped off the back, and um, I'm going to dig in with my fingers because that's how I like to do it. I like to, that's why I wear the gloves, right? I like to get the edges. It also helps me because then I know, like I can feel whether or not I have an even layer of paint all over my canvas. I'm sorry, I'm probably getting my head right in the way, aren't I? And you can see I have no plate, no um, cookie sheet under here today, and that's because my cookie sheet isn't big enough. So I just have my... my um, these are oven mats, actually, and they work quite well. Like I know they look dirty, um, but, you know, they have been wiped. I do leave the paint on them to dry. And if the layer isn't, th I, yeah, you use it for skins, right? If the layer isn't thick enough, it's more difficult to peel off. But when you pour some more paint on top of it, um, it, it does it, right? It, it evens it out. And, and it pulls up, it pulls up the layer that's underneath. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, I'm going to do another one of those, what did I call it the other day? A double diamond spiral pour. Um, which I haven't seen anyone do that exact technique. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. And I really liked the way the results turned out. So I have moved on to doing a copper series. And so I did a copper and purple. That was um, the trivets, actually, I believe, were the copper and purple. And the coasters. I don't know if I recorded that, though. Anyway, let's pop these bubbles. So I've moved on to my blues. And I've got, what do I have there? I have a Thalo blue, Copenhagen blue, um, cyan blue. Oh, actually, I'm not going to use, the, well, yeah, I am going to use the Copenhagen. I'm not going to use that. I'm only going to use four colors still. So I have the Thalo blue, the Copenhagen, the cyan, and the cerulean blue. And then I have my copper and I have a little tiny bit of what I've been calling a cell activator. I don't know if it's a cell activator or not. It's It's got some of the things that they call for, and, and does, but it doesn't have everything that 
um, that I know that uh, they call for in the cell activator. And I know that using a cell activator isn't traditional in a pour, but I'm going to do it anyway, because that's just the way I am. <laughs> What do you think? I'm not 100% in love with it. I think I'm going to get down there with the um, mini blower and fill in some of these white spots that I have going on here. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take another look at it. I'm kind of loving it, but it's got the white spots, the big white spots. I'm not super cool with that. So I'm going to try and move some more paint. I might throw some white down there to try and give it something to move into. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. Now that is much better. Let's zoom. Oh shoot! <laughs> I just got paint on my. Thank goodness I have a protective screen on my phone. <laughs> oh my goodness! Anyway, look at how beautiful that is. I'll take you off the camera in a little bit and take you down there, or take you off the tripod in a little bit and take you down there. But I'm gonna muck around with the corners and the edges a little bit. And uh, but oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Um, I'll be back in just a few. Will you look at that? That is my, this is my blue and copper. Well, you know that. You just watch me pour it, right? <laughs> anyway, look at how beautiful that turned out. 
So again, I love that kind of, what am I calling it, a double diamond spiral pour. <laughs> uh, it turns out looking super cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care of you. Bye now.